Hey, Chris, my name is Rafi Mejavilla from Criticologos.com. I'm excited to talk to you. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time. Uh, it's an honor to be talking to one of the greatest when it comes to physical comedy. So, Chris, thank you. Oh, that means so much to me. Thank you so much. Man, thank I mean, you. I love Jack. Uh, it reminds me a lot. Of, I have to talk also. I'm going to talk also to, to Place Maria. So I, I love that these two parents, they, they, they seem so much like mine. That's why I, I, lo I love your character. So I, I wonder, Jack has two moods. Sometimes he's like, I don't care. And then he's like, do you need money? Do you need something? What, was right. that something, knowing you, was that something that you brought into the table? Or was that just written right in the script? I think it was just written in the script. I generally don't bring anything to the table. I, that's, that's just a rule with me. You know, you have to give me everything and I'll, I'll do it, but I don't usually add anything because that's, you know, Lord. you know what I mean? Uh, no, it, it, it was written and uh, it is very reflective of who I am as a dad. You know, I was always kind of goofy and a slough off as a dad, but at the same time, you have to rise to the occasion and help your kids when they need help and need guidance and all that. And I was certainly there for that. So Jack does that. He, he definitely av avoids controversy. He avoids any kind of, uh, you know, any complications in, in his daily life. He, he has a routine he, he, and most of his routine um, you know, is, is sitting in a lounge chair. You, you'd like to do that most of, the, most of the day. But when he has to, he gets out and does what he's told. Um, let's talk about Maggie uh, as your daughter. Uh, well, how would you approach in real life the situation that your daughter can know what you do in the future? And, and you, you, you're, 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 you're kind of getting something, you're playing something, and she knows. How would you handle that? How would you tell the, hey, don't tell mom, please. Come on, help out. I, I would, I would totally uh, take advantage of it. I, I would, I would pay her to tell me what is going to happen every 10 minutes in my life. If I knew that and I knew what to wear and I knew, uh, you know, who was coming down the driveway and who to avoid, um, I would be so much happier in life. At the same time, Um, on a serious note, life is about, you know, changes and about things, you know, happening out of the blue and all that. So um, in general, I probably wouldn't, you know, take advantage of it too much. I was being jokey there because, you know, I mean, life, you know, it's, it's that if you knew everything that was going to happen to you every second, then, you know, what's the point in going through it, you know, um, and I, that, and in Maggie, she doesn't really know exactly what's going to happen. She gets images, she gets visions, but they don't spell out things completely. Where he can, Jack does use it, but in general, it just brings up a lot more, you know, controversies that he doesn't want to be part of. Before I let you go, um, I want to talk about the multicultural aspect of the story, which I the story which I absolutely love. What is your take on it? Do you think uh, do you find this is really good that we continue to have stories like this one when we have a more diverse groups, more multicultural groups represented, and how they are being represented so faithfully? Yeah, I it 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 doesn't hit anything on the head over the head, you know, it, it just, everyone is so great in this cast. And I was so lucky to go from Schitt's Creek to Maggie with, you know, 10 unbelievably talented young people. Um, and, and, and I include Carrie Kenny in that who plays my wife. Um, and the, the, you know, people's, the diversity is there, but it's not, It, it's not it's not something that is in your face in a way that uh, is in any way uh, the point of the show. The, the point of the show is that we're all one thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I, you know, could say anything about the show, it's that it's not like what you know. It, we're all exposed to just this tense news out there and this. Uh, Uh, you know, 
terrible, you know, anxiety that's going on in the world right now. And, and this show actually, and the diversity is part of that makes you realize, oh, we can breathe. We can breathe easier when we watch Maggie. You know, we're all together and it's, it's comforting. It's a comforting show. One final question. I think you already answered some of it, but maybe expand on it. What can you, what can you, what do you want people to expect and get out from the show once they see it? Yeah, kind of what I was just saying. I want them to feel like it's a respite from, you know, the, the world that's out there that we're exposed to at the moment, that it's a half an hour of uh, breathing easily and, and laughing and enjoying these characters who are, really well played by the, this cast. Um, and uh, it's, it's uh, not that the show doesn't challenge you, but at the same time, it's kind of a throwback to television that actually made you feel better after you watched it. Didn't make you more anxious. Chris, uh, you know that on the head, I think that everybody did great. I, again, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the series. You did great. I love you. You are a huge fan. So thank you. That means so much. Thank you so much, Raphael.